What's up guys, VCentG here with another quick tutorial on how to make a dash in your game. Uh, it's pretty much going to be exactly the same for a side scroller and a top down. So whatever kind of game you have, this will work. The only thing you need to do before getting started is have your dash animation made up. Um, I just used a frame from the walking one and that'll pretty much do it. So here we're going to add a new action and we're going to call it dash and we want to do it when we push the A button on press right and then we're gonna copy this link because we want to do it from moving as well so dash we're gonna set the motion as dash so it looks like the players dashing and we're going to ignore move input and ignore direction change because when we're dashing the player should not be able to turn the dash unless you want the player to turn the dash then you know then you can do that so for this we're going to use move towards display direction and we're going to set the dash distance which I'm going to set it to 128 pixels and then we're going to crank up the vertical and horizontal speeds so that it is a fast dash and then we're gonna add a link back um, where it will go back after certain time passes and we'll put half a second I'm not sure exactly how long it'll take for a dash to complete but we can try that and see how it works so we can test this And as you can see, that's a, a long dash, um, but it works, right? Maybe a little bit too far of a dash. Maybe the time only needs to be like 0.25 instead. Uh, and 0.25, and then also change if all conditions are met and then it should be you could just say the directions you use are pressed so if you're pushing something after the dash you can go to move and as you can see the dash is shorter all right now that's it if you need uh, any more help on the dash uh, just let me know but we're also going to make a after image just because otherwise it would be like a two minute video. So you can go to display parent and child relationship display after image. Uh, I'm going to set it to three after images and a 0.1 interval that lasts two seconds. I'm going to apply the color. You can change it here by clicking that and um, you can also set the after image to be a separate animation instead of copying what the player is doing but I don't need that for mine you do not want it it'll defaultly be here you do not want it to do that um, but this applies to like this object so it shouldn't even matter and now you can see in game nothing happens because alright we're gonna pretend these aren't here because I already had some leftovers from when I try this out. Now you can see that there's after images, right? But they're on all the time and that's not what we want. So we are going to turn off and on after images. And how we're going to do that is just change switch variable and then you can go to self object, switch, display after image, set it to off in your default, set it to off in your movement anything that the dash connects to after dashing will need it to make sure that it's off when doing other animations and then we also need to um, put it on when you dash so before we do the movement we're gonna object self display after image on that way it'll turn on while you're dashing and then it'll go off and then this is how it'll look Oh, that's not how it'll look. 
because I copied this with the red circle. So as you can see, it adds the little after images. Now, of course, they unfortunately disappear because once you flick the switch off, they just automatically disappear. Um, so if you didn't want them to disappear, you would have to actually make a separate object that follows the player and does this kind of stuff. And then you would turn it off afterwards on that object. But for this example, that pretty much covers everything. You know, we have functional dash. And yeah, the only difference is um, in a top-down game, you would also add a link for if you come in contact with stuff. I would assume you could leave it to where you can dash into walls and it would just stop, but you would still be dashing. Um, and in a side scroller game, you would want a link here going to your fall action so that if the player dashes off a ledge, they don't just keep dashing, right? They should fall. And you could even have a special dash fall where they keep the um, extra horizontal move speed, but then fall to gravity. Um, but yeah, for a basic dash, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Uh, leave a comment if you have any questions. Leave a like if this helped you at all. Leave a dislike if you're a mean person with no soul. And I'll see you in the next video.